what's up you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in as you can already tell by the title today's video is going to be a part two follow-up video to my moving checklist atlanta for beginners video i had to say that really slow because i kept getting tongue-tied i'm gonna talk to you guys about how to find work and how to find housing I am almost a year in. I think I'm about nine months into my move from New York City. I am not a realtor. I am not an HR recruiter. The first thing that I want to touch base on is finding house. There is this misconception that Georgia is extremely cheap. Georgia has affordable housing, yes, but it is not as cheap as people make it seem maybe like back 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 in the day like a few years back property was really cheap here in georgia i remember hearing about 500 dollars apartments studios and things like that one bedroom starting from about 500 to 600 dollars a month now from my experience that has not been the case and i feel like the apartment application or condo application process has become a little bit more complex than it may seem you're looking for housing here in georgia the first thing that you want to think about is what is your budget so how much you're willing to spend a month you want to write out like your total expenses how much you spend so take out all of the unnecessary shit so take out the shopping take out the the partying the hookah the weed take all of that out the drinks take it all out and just focus on your necessities. your necessities or your essentials being your home stuff so like your groceries and groceries as in your food things that you're gonna eat things that you're gonna be consuming during the week you also want to put on your list like toiletries and things like that that you're gonna need toilet paper tissue plates pots pans etc etc but once you write out your budget and how much you spend how much you need to spend for your necessities during the month then you can see how much money you currently make and deduct that total once you deduct that total then you go in and then you can basically say okay I can afford X amount for rent I would say for a one bedroom and that's just standard a one bedroom I would say the cheapest that I've seen so far is eleven hundred to twelve hundred dollars that is not downtown that is not in the Atlanta area this is specifically in the outskirts area so Marietta Kennesaw Dunwoody Riverdale like those places so something to consider when looking for housing is how close you want to be from the airport if you're somebody who travels back and forth or you know that you know you just want to be more in a central area you're gonna want to go in look at the map of Georgia just like I mentioned in the first video and if you haven't watched that video then pause this and go back and watch that other video so that way you can kind of get in the groove and see exactly what I'm talking about once you go ahead and you look at the map of Georgia and you zoom in and you say okay I want to be 30 minutes from the airport an hour from the airport or you don't really care then you'll be able to see exactly what area you want to live in once you do that you're gonna go on Google and you're gonna type in apartments for rent in whatever area that you choose. type in apartments for rent a bunch of listings are going to come up now I know it may sound pretty you know generic or pretty cliche to say go on Google I feel like Google is the largest search engine and probably the most accurate that you're gonna find different sites and you know different portfolios of apartments or houses something that you want to look for is leasing offices so out here just like how in New York they have management offices like building management out here in Georgia they have leasing offices now there is where you would apply for these condos or apartments or you know houses or whatever you also have to decide if you're willing to rent or if you're willing to you know purchase a home if you're a young millennial trying to make it you hustling grinding right now i highly doubt that you're going to be willing to buy a house right now more than likely you're going to be trying to rent you're going to fill out different applications for different leasing offices and i do suggest applying to more than one depending on you know who answers you back but that all depends on what your budget is typically um the leasing offices charge about a hundred dollars for the application and then an additional like two hundred dollars to two hundred fifty dollar processing fee which is definitely pricey and something for you to consider before 
choosing where you're gonna be. Once you do that, you apply to different leasing offices, they'll reach back out to you, and on the leasing offices, there's all the information about like, you know, pets and things like that, so that way, you know, you can pretty much make your choice. Once you, sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> Once you finally secure like where you want to live, you submit your apartment applications or whatever, you have your budget, you know how much you want to spend, then your next duty is to find where you're going to work, how you're going to make money, how you're going to make cash. Everywhere is hiring here in Georgia. Everywhere is hiring. It just depends on how much you're willing to get paid, okay? Because you know, they were dragging me on TikTok, 140K, my first like viral, viral TikTok. And I basically, you know, I said how I felt about Georgia. Um, and one thing about Georgia is that they do not pay. The minimum wage is 725, like I mentioned in my last video. And you know, that's a little insane knowing that, you know, New York is like 15 an hour and people are barely living on that. But the cost of living here is cheaper. But of course, if you're a New Yorker, you're gonna require certain, you know, a certain standard. You're gonna require certain things at least until you start coming into your own cash or coming into your own abundance. And you're able to, you know, take care of yourself and, you know, maintain that same New York lifestyle or at least until you're able to, like, you know, wean off of that and get accustomed to the culture here in Georgia. So think about it as the same money that you would be paying for housing in New York, that $15 an hour. When you come here to Georgia, you basically be splitting that between your housing and your vehicle. If you buy a car or if you rent a car, whatever the case is, think about that. So you'll be basically taking your New York expenses, splitting that up into your transportation because you need transportation. You're going to be going into transportation or housing. So just something to keep note of. My best option, like my best bet, no matter what field you're in or what field you're gonna be transferring from, find like an agency, like a staffing agency. Those are really big here in Georgia. New York started to pick up on them in maybe like the last few years. I worked for, I think, two staffing agencies in New York, but they were like contract assignments. You're applying for jobs and you see like contract assignment or temp to perm. That's basically like a staffing agency um, that is in charge of like that account is basically what they call it. You wanna apply to a staffing agency, apply to all of them. They basically staff, you know, different workplaces. The pros to working for a staff agency is definitely the fact that you don't owe anybody anything. Like if you wanna call out, you can call out. If you wanna, you know, take vacation, you can take vacation. The con to that, like the downside is that you don't get paid. So you don't get any PTO, you don't get any paid holidays and things like that. So you kind of just have to, you know, move accordingly and make smart decisions. Emphasis on the make smart decisions. So once that's all said and done and you've applied to your staffing agencies and things like that, it should take them no more than three weeks to reach back out to you. And even if it does take them three weeks, you should be on an assignment within those three weeks. Keep in mind that Georgia, I don't know who this applies to. I don't know who this applies to, but keep in mind, Georgia does drug tests. Most of these staffing agencies do drug tests. So that's just a heads up. So make sure you have yourself in order before going and applying to all these staffing agencies. Also keep in mind that these staffing agencies do connect you with employers that are willing to do direct hire. So you may see some positions. Don't be afraid to take temp to perm positions or contract assignments. So once you apply to the staffing agency, they call you back, they send you on your assignment. Please make sure that you have your transportation in order. I said this in the last video. Please make sure that you have your transportation in order. That is something that you are definitely gonna have to figure out, whether it's renting a car, whether it's like, you know, whatever it is, just make sure you have your transportation in order. Something else that I do wanna touch on when it comes to making cash and making money out here, hustling, grinding, you really wanna make sure that you have your goals in order or at least in some sort of organized way so that way you have a clear vision of what direction that you want to go i think georgia itself is an amazing networking city there's so many people and it is very 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 pro-black pro-small business 
pro entrepreneur, pro work for yourself here in Georgia. Whatever your dream is, Atlanta is definitely a place or Georgia is definitely a positive place to nurture that grow your fan base if you want to be an influencer you know grow your clientele if you want to be a makeup artist a chef a stylist a hairdresser whatever it is this is an amazing networking state if you don't have me on tiktok already then be sure to add me at porcelain zen xo i really hope that this helps more than one person but even if it just touches one person and it helps you out comment down below and let me know that encourages me and keeps me going thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next video bye